Now first tonight, snow is still in the forecast after some places saw flurries this morning. Yeah, these are just some of your photos that you shared to our Discover Colorado through your photos Facebook page. Just gorgeous snow covered peaks are just part of what makes our state beautiful this time of year. Meteorologist Stacy Donaldson will join us in just a few minutes with a quick look at when we can expect more snow in the coming days. And on the other hand, our snow capped mountains can pose dangerous risks, especially for the backcountry. Taking a look now at the Colorado Avalanche Information Center's forecast for avalanche danger. Right now, levels are around considerable and moderate danger. Today, I spoke with a local climate expert and the CAIC, which tells me avalanches are not only dangerous, but have recently gotten bigger. I asked why that is and if we could see this trend continue in the future. What's somewhat unique about this winter is that we've had above average snowfall um, in the early part of our winter season. Noah Malich is an associate professor of snow hydrology at CU Boulder. He says that increased snowfall this season has made avalanches more hazardous, but he says we could see a shift in the avalanche season in the future. Is climate change a factor in any of this? Snow is very sensitive to changes in climate. What we know is that it's going to continue to get warmer. Now, what we haven't been able to do scientifically is link the warming that we've seen over the past few decades with avalanche activity. That's very much an open question for research. Saying it's at the hypothesis stage right now. And with climate warming, we might hypothesize that there would be more severe avalanche risk um, as more liquid water in the snowpack can diminish the um, stability of the snowpack. Which could make it more dangerous for people to head into the backcountry in the spring. Ethan Green with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says it's really hard to predict avalanche conditions months and years out. But what he can say, they will get smaller and they will likely get bigger. We will see both. Avalanches are heavily impacted by weather events. And so the avalanches that we're going to see on any particular day are a combination of what the weather is doing that day and what the weather has done for that season. Both experts say the key here is to be prepared if you decide to venture into the backcountry because you never know what weather pattern Mother Nature will decide to bring. Be respectful of the mountains. The mountains are dangerous. Go out with teams of people that you trust, um, that you know have the equipment and training to be safe in the mountains. And when in doubt, um, don't ski a line that you think is unsafe. And experts also can't stress this enough. Check out the avalanche forecast for the day by heading to the CAIC's website before you head into the backcountry.